shit so. <laughs> I I hate. I don't know. We got all fucking ugly. Ugh. Anyways, today we'll be reviewing the alpaca switches. Will anyone take this seriously? I don't think anyone would. <laughs> That's the point of it. Whatever. They are a linear switch with a bottom out force of 62 grams. It is a polycarbonate top housing and a nylon bottom housing and a palm stem. Five pin mount. Uh, don't know many switches nowadays that would not have five pin. Their three pin is beta shit. They come lightly lubed from the factory on the stem. This won't be too much of a big deal if you're deciding to break in and lube anything up yourself. I was iffy on the whole alpaca thing because all I saw were like, is this end game? Is this cream skiller? No more get in blacks? I was like, no. No, no, not my cat in blacks, no. Creams? Man, I don't give a fuck about creams. There were that one chick you dated in high school, like almost the whole school has already been with. And then once you get with them, they're like, they're like, they're an absolute dickhead. At the time I was looking for alpacas, they were just sold out everywhere. None on Prime Keywords, none on Apex. I think they sold alpacas. Uh, but anyways, nowhere. They weren't anywhere. The only place that you could get these alpacas were on um, Mech Mark, and I ain't spending two times more of the amount I would if I were to do them myself, you know? Prime Keywords then announced like a few days, I think, after I was looking for them, that uh, they were doing another batch with new molds. I was like, all right, this is my time to prove these are not end game switches. Upon arrival, when I got them, I was ready. I was gonna get them into my test board, see how good these switches were to prove that these switches ain't shit. My get ink blacks, man. Or my silk blacks. I love those switches. By the way, silk blacks are uh, better than silk yellows. I don't know how many people use these switches, but just kidding. I never tried silk yellows. No key. Hit me up. Please. Please. I put the alpacas into my keyboard and my reaction my reaction these are poop who types on these things man now keep in mind these are the factory these are factory lubed and have no 205 grade zero lubed so like i typed on the stock for a day or two and i was just like why the hell would people think this is endgame man and then i forgot i was like i i, was, I still forgot that, that i haven't done 205 yet my initial reaction was to these stocks and at the time, I was testing the alpacas on stream, and uh, one of the viewers, they told me to try them lube. Try one switch and see how that works, see if you even want to lube the whole set. Yeah. You know what? I might I might do that right now. Might as well try it. If I have the switches out right now. So I tried the switch lubed and compared them to the other linears I was testing, and god fucking damn. They were hella smooth. Oh. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Oh boy, do I like these more than the switches that are on my driving keyboard? Oh no. <laughs> don't tell me. Please don't tell me this is it. Don't tell me I'm being influenced by an alpaca linear that is loo. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, the sound is, the sound difference is huge. No, please don't tell me. Oh no, this ain't good. This, oh no. <laughs> no, this can't be happening. Alpaca linear, fuck. I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, I was proven wrong by my initial thought. I know, I know, it's impossible. Miles never gets a prediction wrong. He's always right. He's the keyboard guy. Better than Taya, better than Taya 2, better than Taya 3, better than Taya 4. And you're right, I am the keyboard god. But sometimes we make mistakes and today this is one of those mistakes. After having all the switches lubed and filmed, I tested the whole keyboard with them and uh, uh oh, they're so goddamn good. The alpacas are incredibly smooth with no friction at all between the stem and the housing. Sound of these switches though, they are on the higher pitch side. They are bearable with the right type of keycaps, so not a big deal. I currently have them in my daily driver and god damn, I think OEMs 
OEM keycaps are the way to go with these switches, man. Now compared to the other linears, such as the creams, ink blacks, tangerines, telios, it really is hard to make a judgment of what is truly endgame and also reference. No matter what happens, there will always be a new switch that can take that spot and endgame really should not be the focus here. But if I were to rank the alpacas amongst the other competitor, competitive linears out there, I would place these switches at the top, followed by tangerines, gad ink blacks, telios, and novel creams. Novel creams, honestly, they're just like, they're just bad, man. Even lubed. I, I might I might just be like I might have to go back to the novel creams and see like if I just had a bad initial reaction but like who knows man I'll, I'll go I'll check them out again I I, I might as well because this is probably gonna get a lot of people toxic this ranking is based on smoothness of the switch if you're mainly focused on sound profile from thought to thack gat inks are at the top followed by creams Alpacas, tangerines, and telios. So in conclusion, the alpacas are one of the smoothest switches you could ever type on. And making a purchase for these switches is a must. God damn it. It hurts to be wrong, you know? It hurts to be <laughs> looking at my face and saying that it's just like dumb shit. Making a purchase for these switches is a must. Whether you're a linear gang or just like collecting switches. Coming in at 550 for 10 switches, it's definitely a competitor in the price department. And uh, Linear Smoothest, definitely up there within the smoothness department for sure. So yeah, I, re re I recommend uh, Alpacas.
this one's a lot slow this one uh, this one's a lot uh shorter video uh i don't know if uh content wise this was equal amount of content as my longer videos um i'm trying to test out having a shorter uh faster uh video with a little, with the same amount of content as like tw those 27 minute videos but uh i'm trying some new things out uh if this is a lot better to those who wanted uh, shorter videos uh please let me know uh if there's more improvement to be done please let me know as well in the comment section uh if you enjoyed this video pre pre please please give thumb up and uh you can check out my other content and if you like that content please subscribe hope i'll greatly appreciate and uh yeah thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you guys next time i gotta get this thing off <laughs>